how they do things. Yeah. <sighs> but. But we're so in love. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, welcome to Famous or Not, We're Happy show. I'm Crystal. And I'm Enrique. And welcome back. Or if you're new, welcome. It's been a minute, it feels like, since we've yeah. done these. We haven't been posting as persistently as we've been wanting to, but that's okay. It's now springtime. Yeah. So I feel this um, new energy of like getting back to it getting back into the routine mm -hmm. like once once it starts getting warm i get because you know now the time has changed yeah and it feels so much better to actually have sunlight not yeah. wake up when it's dark and then come home and then it's already dark again um so that's very refreshing to have which just because we haven't posted on here doesn't mean we haven't been doing other things we've been doing a lot more other things than our other accounts and profiles yeah, so definitely but check them out. The show was for sure something that we were uh, lacking and coming back to. Yeah, it feels good though. But it does feel very good to come back. And I think I forgot to set up a tripod because a tripod is a little crooked. Hopefully, it doesn't look too bad. I don't think so. No, it looks. Luckily, this fine. camera has a, like a stabilizing thing. But yeah, today we didn't have a real specific topic we wanted to talk about. Just you know, throwing on the mics and seeing what, 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 you know? Yeah. <laughs> how, how have you, so I feel like I kind of want to do a, like a midway refresher. We're like a quarter into the year already. Yeah. Um, we started this in January, of course, and we started it with the intentions of, you know, like we kind of discussed how the year went for us and like what we're setting out for this year. Having been three months into it, how are you feeling currently? Like, is there any new themes that have came up personally on just what you're trying to work towards? Yeah, I've gone through a lot and the good and bad, a lot more good than bad. But yeah, this this year so far has been treating me very, very good. And it's, you know, they have to go through the ugly kind of to get, you know, to the top of the mountain or whatever. Yeah. But as of now, I've just been really working on our online presence and online businesses. Nice. But how has this year treated you? Um, it's been good. It's taught me a lot of um, patience within myself and learning how to be patient with myself because that's a whole different yeah. learning experience because, you know, you can build up tolerance to other situations or people to be patient that's kind of easier yeah um but patience within yourself of like understanding you know that there's there's progress there it's not you know like my favorite thing is progress is not linear it's so true and just like constantly having to remind yourself the other day you said something along the lines of like i forgot what we were talking about you were just like and we're human like that's just part of it oh yeah and, yeah and that really sucks with me because it's like it's it's so true we're just human and that's part of our experience is going through the through those emotions and having to um ground ourselves back yeah that it's okay like you're you're in progress mode you know that's the biggest difference between us and robots you know robots are made for one task and they won't really, they don't go through, at least now, you know, through the yeah. emotions and sentiments of what we, us humans go through. So, I mean, in a way, I guess we do have a lot more to to battle, quote unquote, because it's all eternally. It's all yeah. in our mind, you know? Yeah. It's patience. Patience is the biggest thing. Like, I think that's why a lot of people quit on their goals and their dreams is because they think it'll happen overnight or in a month or in two months. Like sometimes it will. Yeah. And they see those stories and then they think it might happen to them. But then when they actually try, it doesn't. So then they quit. And it's like, man, you were one, you know, one punch away from knocking it out. Yeah. You know? And when you try something new, everything is new. Yeah. So everything is a learning process. And you have to be patient with that because 
you know, when whether you're trying to build something up or um, just achieve something for yourself that you've never done before, you know, that's trial and error. Yeah. And as long as you are trying, then you're already achieving it, I feel like. And you might learn something within, you know, that whatever you're learning <clears throat> might take you a different, you know, route and you might chase that instead of what you were initially chasing. Exactly. And um, that comes along with not being afraid to make mistakes. Yeah. Like that's the biggest thing as a perfectionist. That's what I struggle with. I'm normally like, well, if I'm not going to be good at it, then I don't want to try. Mm. And that also comes along with learning yourself and knowing yeah. what you are good at and what you're not. And then there you can know your strengths and weaknesses and whatever you're trying to do, whether that's a sport or... Yeah, you could um, adjust. Yeah, you could just adjust. Adjust and think beforehand of what you're going to do. Like, okay, I'm not going to do this because then this is going to trigger this. And then I'm going to do this. And it you kind of work backwards, you know? Yeah. Well, it just depends on who the person is. But, you know, if you're smart and you're going to... You get mad if you do this one thing. So in order for you to not get mad, then you think about what even gets you in that place. Yeah. So you don't do it. You just bypass an yeah. obstacle or whatever it is. I agree. Um, so but yes, patience. Sorry, patience. But, but that that is a good one that you bring up. Patience was is a big. Um, you know, I haven't really been reading. I haven't read. I haven't read my book in like probably in a week. It's about to hit a week. I've just been doing a whole lot of other stuff. And before I stopped reading. You know, which I'm not, I was mad, like, you know, two days. I'm like, damn, I haven't read, a, I haven't read, you know, Yeah. my personal time. But it's like, no, I've been busy. I've been doing a lot of other stuff. And that book taught me the delay of gratification. Yeah. Which is a huge part in patience. And it's a huge part in, you know, especially what I've been doing. It's like, I haven't been working a nine to five. So I don't have that check to look forward to. So I'm kind of, I am delaying that sense of gratification of yeah of that um comfort of i'm gonna get that check in two weeks or in a week or whatever my yeah you know, pay period is so it kind of does motivate me a lot too but then i also think i don't want to burn myself out so i i do have like my own little schedule yes that is something that i have always done to myself and that's that's honestly like with only three months in of this year that I have learned so much and I've moved through a way to figure out how to not burn myself out again. Yeah. Because before it was all in or nothing. And then if I'm doing something, it has to be done right there and then. Mm -hmm. And now I'm understanding that space in between is so important because if it's work and then burnout. Yeah. That's a steep hill down. Yeah. Where if it's work, a little bit of self care work, or yeah, it's just like a even like work, chill, work, chill, and then you have a steadily uphill instead of yeah, and it's not linear. Yeah, work and then downhill, and then you're back up running to the top again the next yeah. day. You know, that's exactly how you know. There's any stock traders or whatever. Like that's exactly how the stock market works or any market. It's like it's rare, never straight up you know if you see a huge spike up over two months you zoom in and you see it went up and then it went down 10 percent. then it went up and then it went down 15 percent. but it eventually hit that 80 percent upwards yeah trend you know so yeah it's it's like you know a lot of things resemble life yeah and i think like the stock market always resembles life and earth and not always yeah that's like a cool little connection you know you could think of it's like yeah the stock market does the same thing you don't always you don't see it go straight up it takes a little break it's like power naps you take a little five seven minute power nap and then yeah. for the next three hours you're cleaning like crazy Back up and or, running yeah and yeah i agree through patience and um setting just listening to my body and kind of setting a schedule of uh, preventing burnouts from happening yeah um i've also learned that i don't have to label or classify myself into one thing or one interest 
Mm. Um, that's been the biggest thing this year. Um, mm-hmm. You know, going out of school and then going to college right away. You feel that you have to stick yourself in one category and that's it. Mm-hmm. And you have to do that one category or line of work for the rest of your life. And I'm like, yeah. that's fucking boring. And well, scary. at least for me. Yeah. And some people do that and they love it. And yeah. if that's their true passion, like that's so awesome. But it doesn't work for everyone, especially yeah. if you like change. Especially which... us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you like change, it's honestly just like really listening to yourself. Yeah. In the interview that, um, I'd watched with Gary V. Mm-hmm. He was talking to um, a kid in his twenties, and he was like, um, he he was really into basketball, and then he was doing um, some type of like financing and stuff like that. That's what he went to school for. But he loves basketball, and then a few other things. And he was like, "How do I choose one? Mm. Like, which one do I go with?" And he was just like why are you trying to narrow yourself down to one thing he was like you're you're human like that's the most that's the most important and special thing is you it's not that i'm a financer you know like that's it it's no these are all my interests and um yeah don't I feel like once we label ourselves to one thing, categorize ourselves into one subject, we limit ourselves. Mm. And when we don't feel um, the necessary need to stick with these labels and we just do all of our interest, you know, if you can manage that and if you enjoy it, yeah, you don't set any limits to yourself or with what it is that you want to do. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's all about balance yeah. in that aspect, you know? Because too much of one thing is never good for you. Especially, like you said, of it's like of you choosing a passion versus uh, basically security. He was just really doing most likely his the finance thing for like security because it was a college and job yeah. and you know all that stuff. And it's like, dang, why do we narrow ourselves down to what? You know, I think we just need to stop being sheep and just be a damn lion and just make your own path. Yeah, you know? or it- follow like. There's a lot of people who've done it already, who've left college and made their own life out of not following the herd and even following them. Like, might as well follow them instead of following the whole other 80%. Yeah. You know, especially my last job, really, it's crazy because my last job, I would go to a lot of dealerships and I would see like, you know, no, I'm not throwing shade or anything, but it's just like I would see all the estimators and all the writers and I was like, damn, like, this is a desk job. Like, this was, yeah. and I just, you know, I'm, uh, I love observing just, like, people and their life and whatever. And I was like, damn, like, that's, they're there for, like, nine hours. Like, that shit's boring. Yeah. At least for me, you yeah. know? But then, like you said, they might actually like it. Like, if you had like cars, then you honestly really, that's a pretty cool job because you're always learning about car parts and how to fix it and then you talk to the body man and you're like oh that's how you fixed it cool because then in two weeks when your car breaks down then you know how to fix it it's that balance in life yeah it's very interesting um she the daisy daisy the chi chi still here by the way she's doing (laughs) great she's very interested right now yeah she said i think i don't know if you guys could hear but there's like a dog barking now and i think that's grasped her attention he's calling her name Daisy. Her tongue. Daisy. Look at her tongue. <laughs> her tongue's out. I don't know if you guys can see, but um But yeah, it's very interesting. I was just gonna say, like, um in our perspective of being twenty and like when you get out of high school and go to college and then you get a job. Yeah. So like me working at a law firm. Yeah. What an eye opener. Working yeah. with top high profile attorneys. And you talk to everyone in the office and they are so depressed. I mean, there's no other way to put it. Like, that's just the reality of it. And seeing, you know, like, oh, wow, you're, you know, like, you're a lawyer. That's that's awesome. Or you're a paralegal, you know, and yeah. speaking with these people. And then on the other side of it, they're so sad. Yeah. And they're just like... I kill myself here every day working. 
um, and they don't feel that appreciation from the people they work with. And um, even I don't really know if that was their interest or a lot of them have stayed there for so long just because that that's what they felt secure in. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's a very um, interesting environment because working there for a few years, I've gotten really close to people there and they'll kind of like, um, you know, they'll just tell you up front, like, yeah, I've been here for 20 years, but it's only cause like, because they know that they're going to get that check. They're just yeah. like, the money's good. Yeah. But that's all they have to say positive of it. Then they're just working for the weekend. They're yeah. just working for that Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, literally. You know, they, they get aggravated quickly and it's just, you see it. Yeah. You see that that's not where they want to be at, but it's mm -hmm. where they are. And interesting enough, you know, working at it, it's a desk job, you know, and um, a few times instead of sitting down i just stand up because mm. i just you know i get tired of sitting and um a few people were like yeah i hate sitting and i'm like you've been here for 20 years sitting yeah and you hate it and they won't do they won't do nothing about it yeah like it's very interesting um people's takes on it but when you when you really work in a certain industry you see the reality of it yeah. And it's never what it seems until you're really in it. And then you experience it for yourself. And everyone's experience will be different in it. Yeah. it. It'll never be the same. Yeah, very interesting to see. I just feel like this new energy, this new phase that people are really not fearing judgment anymore. You know, like there's like a big movement of it. And yeah. they're just doing what it is that they want and like... Why does it matter? You know, we're all going to die anyways. Like, that's the reality of it. Mm -hmm. So, like, why would you care what this person had said or thought of you for a split second when that's what made you happy or that's what um, you, feel, you felt was your next move in progression Yeah, to get to where you need to be? Mm -hmm. I heard of this one thing. I forgot who said it, but they said, if you're going to fail in what is your security job or your career and you don't really like it then why not just go try your dream and your passion and fail at that the overall outcome is still going to be failure might as well go fail in your dreams and passions because what if it do you don't fail yeah and then what if you know you try it out and you don't like it yeah you know and then just go back onto the line and go to college but anyways um so much hate on college we have i just think it's like you know the biggest scam in america it's also crazy the fact that we just got a membership to a college gym gym no hate no here. hate um i mean i just want i just feel like it's no for me no there's no hate yeah i just feel that people really need to have a conversation with themselves before they feel that that's their only option. Yeah, that, that's... And that yeah. they are just doing something that will bring them security. And instead of doing something that they truly love and that is in alignment with their purpose. The reason why everyone is so... um, You know, not everyone's happy. And yeah. if people were able to ask themselves that question first... Mm -hmm. You're literally taking the words out of my mouth. I was about to say, I don't hate college. Yeah. I just hate the fact that some people don't know that there's another way than just college. So like you're saying, of uh, those people who just go to college just because it's what their family wants or, you know, whatever the reason is, but it's not within their true desire of those people would just question themselves and, okay, I just graduated high school. And, you know, I was taking a shower last time and and um, <laughs> and I was thinking like when we're on our once we graduate high school and we turn 20, like we're on level we're on level two, you know, of our of this game of life. Like, yeah. OK, level two is the level where you hustle, where you grind, mm -hmm. where you basically set yourself up for level three and above. So it's like, okay, yeah, if someone does want to just learn from someone and, you know, really 
even this past week, like I mentioned, I haven't read books. So I've noticed too that I, I can't really learn from just reading. I think that's why I don't pick that book up again, you know? I just bought a course and thank God this course is like all videos and stuff because I'm like, I mean, the first. Like the, visual learning is more appealing for you yeah, and more and I easier grasp to flow more, through. Yeah. Because it's, it's funny because while I'm reading, I catch myself thinking of something else. I'm yeah. reading, but I'm thinking something else. And then I'm already three pages in. And I'm like, wait, what did the last three pages say? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like that always happens to me. It's rare for me to really like this book that I'm reading, which I haven't read in a week. When I was reading it out of like the paragraph, like it's a big ass book. And within a whole pair, uh, not paragraph, a whole chapter which is a lot of words, I would only retain like a couple of phrases. Of it. Of like it. Like actually like grasping it. Yeah. You know. And understanding it. Yeah. But then at the same time, I mean, I've read it to you and it has some big ass words. <laughs> yeah. And it, it um, uses a lot of verses. So it's kind of yeah. like. It ties in a lot biblically. You got to remind yourself of that. Yeah. And then kind of go read that and then understand the backstory of some things just to come back to th that book. Yeah. And understand where right. he's where getting he's, at it mm -hmm. metaphorically. Right. Through the verse. Mm -hmm. But yeah. back to college. We're, we don't hate college. It's just the fact that I hate, not hate, I just don't like. The force of it. The force of it. And when people don't think of other ways that they could do make make it in whatever they yeah they like and you know bringing this up it's like i think this is this isn't what the whole show is about but i think this is what the show is about right now um yeah you know? i mean honestly it's just curiosity of yeah. like human consciousness and being able to ask yourself these questions and work through that and know that um like what like just do whatever makes you happy that's what the show's about yeah there you go <laughs> cuz then i thought about it while you were talking even though that's bad you should never think about whatever you don't th don't think when you're having a conversation because i heard of this one thing which really struck me i think i read it and it it just says don't have a conversation to react have a conversation to understand understand I think Matthew McConaughey said this, like he he repeats in his mind the whole sentence or the or the question, whatever that person asked him, repeats it in his mind before he actually answers. He answers it. So it's like you're you're responding to an understanding rather than reacting. Yeah. So I'm sorry for reacting. That's okay. But um Yeah, I think tying it all back into this whole college because i think you know college is a huge subject for us right now because it was a huge uh leap leap of faith in both of our yeah i mean college lives. It, I mean, and it's always going to be 20 there. so we're at that age of it it's just even like nine to five work you know yeah and honestly, I think it's just also like the the life we're living right now too. Like everyone's everyone lives is different. I understand that, and I'm open minded to, you know, everyone's. That's why you you don't compare your your journey with someone else's because you you never know what that person's life is. You know. Yeah. Like us, we're lucky enough that I had a good past job, so I had you know yeah like just don't stuff. compare your chapter two to someone's chapter 12 right you know they're that's here we go like fitness journey like don't compare your you know your three years into it to someone who has already nine years and already has their physique built and you're just now trying to like listen to your body and understand what's your body reacts to you know in that yeah. way um, that's always a good reminder that I. Yeah, it's funny mind. you bring up fitness. I was, like right before we started, I was like, "That's a good thing we, I could bring up," because uh, since the beginning of this year, I've lost like fifteen pounds, which isn't a lot, but it is in the terms of that I'm almost to like my BMI. 
but it, it it was also really good because uh these so from september october november december so october november and december those last three months of last year i was bulking so we were working out but i was just eating excessively and that's when i gained about 20 25 pounds and i i got stronger but i did get a bigger gut and you know my chin was at that double chin still then from january january you know the new years i uh i just cut and i went into a calorie deficiency diet and was well, you know just working out the same just um uh, adding cardio yeah trying out new things trying out new things. And cutting phases shout out to ehp labs we're doing their uh challenge and so far it's pretty good i the biggest thing i took from that challenge was we love doing challenges it's it's kind of fun and it's um, yes i love it because it always keeps me on a on track uh, i find i found it kind of difficult like when i was bulking the way i kept myself on track was i just bought myself a uh, a draw uh what's it called a whiteboard calendar and then each day i do the split of push pull legs push pull legs that, that was my split yeah but with hp labs they taught me with uh taught me a lot about um the supersets and doing this exercise and then right after doing this exercise and then doing the 30 second rest i agree the it's fun doing the challenges like the eight week challenges is normally what they are the time frames yeah eight weeks eight ten weeks yeah yeah and um because you know you're trying someone else's uh training techniques routines and, and meals how, yeah so it's very fun to you know challenge yourself like oh i i normally don't do that exercise or which that was a even uh, the recipes yeah. like it's introduces you to new ways of doing mm -hmm. things that you wouldn't have thought of so that's what i was gonna bring up that was another big thing i took from it as well was the recipes yeah quick and easy lunch that i've been obsessed with and then you found a quick and easy breakfast that you were obsessed with yeah which is funny. We're like so opposite from each other, which makes us the perfect pair because <laughs> she loves her sweets and I love my savory foods. So yeah. that was her favorite. It was it was like a berry bowl. Yeah. And then mine was a teriyaki with brown rice bowl. Yeah. It's like complete opposite. And it's so interesting. Opposites do attract because on Literally. our um, chart, we're opposite from each other because I'm a Sagittarius and you're a Gemini yeah and it's the complete opposite but in a lot a of fight. ways a, mm, it what? flows together yeah because we balance each other out like it's it's up here like one extreme with one extreme and we come yeah. together and it's like perfect harmony yep Even and it's cool because it we pull each other in like um directions that we're not comfortable in yeah like you you were more the type to go you know it's i mean i'm not afraid to say it. i'm you know three years ago i would always tell her like hey go ask the worker like if they have this size yeah you know like it was that type like i, I just was really an introvert and i wouldn't really talk to anybody just my friends and i wouldn't say you gave me confidence but you showed me kind of what confidence is and just what like well, regular humans do. Yeah. Not regular, but you know what I mean. Just like. Yeah. But no, a her, lot like, of it's... people um, do get comfortable with that by not like having like, oh, could you go no ask for me? Yeah. You know. Um, We're all normal in our own ways, but. Yeah. I, I still get like that here and there. And that's just who I am. I, I, I don't mind being alone. Yeah. You know. And that's what you've taught me is like. I hated be al being alone. Like I either had to be with an animal or with a person. Like yeah. being by myself, um, I don't know. I just never preferred to be by myself. It was always with someone else. And, um, you know, just seeing how you were so comfortable with yourself. I was like, oh, wow. you know, like I should tap into that energy a yeah. little bit and not be so fired up all the time, ready to. But then it's funny because then when something. when I'm alone and I do, you know, wash the dishes or do laundry or whatever, 
I like being stimulated and I always have like a podcast or honestly a whole movie playing and I just have my phone just following me. I'm just holding it on one hand and then doing something else or I'm washing dishes. I have a prop I have it propped up on her window and I'm yeah. washing dishes and then when you're alone you don't have anything. It's dead silent. You're, it's just dead silence and you're washing dishes. I'm like, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh, she's mad. Uh, no. <laughs> no, it's just, that's just what she does. It's just pure silence. But I enjoy that. Yeah. Yeah. It's very interesting. Um, you know, once you understand another person's ways of being and how they go about the daily tasks, mm-hmm. it's very interesting. Too. how everyone has their own little things they do or say yeah or how they do things yeah <sighs> but but we're so in love <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah but that was a good that was a really good episode yeah you know it's just one to catch up on and you know we're doing good we're doing really good and we um, hope you guys are doing good yes this is um this is a show just yeah. for you guys. I mean, honestly, it's it's funny because I think about that every time I'm either editing or when, you know, I think about, we think about topics. I always, I don't think about, okay, what do I know? What do I, you know, what, what am I the smartest in or whatever? I always think about like, okay, what do you, what do I think that people would like to hear? Yeah. You know, so it, it's always towards our audience. And I just really like it. it. It feels cool and it feels good. We don't really have a lot of interaction yet, but I know once we have a lot of comments and even the hate comments, like bring them in. Like I'm just excited for, you know, I mean, I've been, we've been uploading content on yeah. social media platforms for like the past three months and like crazy. And I've gotten some hate comments and I just laugh at them. I'm just like, what, you know? Yeah. <laughs> like, Luckily, I have that. I have kind of a a tough skin of you know. I grew up really overweight, and I was always bullied, and um, and just getting back. <laughs> <laughs> That's the gym and I kicking in. <laughs> it got super quiet. You stopped laughing. You stopped breathing. Might as well go along with the bro. No, but no, yeah. but yeah, like don't take anything personally. Yeah, I don't take anything personal. I know, I know, people are just out here chasing the likes, the the more the replies. It's cool. I yeah. understand. It's whatever someone says. Is They'll just a grow reflection up of themselves. Yeah. Every time. Exactly. Even everything that we say, like when you're aware of that, it's still a reflection of yourself. Mm -hmm. And it's so interesting because our brain's wired to that. And however, you know, open-minded, you know, that you are, the less there is to say, because then you're, then it's just curiosity, like, oh, okay. And then you just Mm -hmm. move along. But, um. I know it's funny you say that. Sorry, before I cut you off, don't lose your train of thought. That's exactly what I thought. I was like, okay. Well, like, I'm, I'm interested in what other, you know, hate comments we're going to get. Yeah. You know, it's funny because I actually, I saw this live of this dude eating, like, raw meat. And it's his pre-workout. And holy shit, he gets a whole bunch of hate comments. And just, there's always going to be that, you know? There's always going to yeah. be that balance. So just deal with it. Yeah. and And if you disagree with something... I mean, all you can do is lead by example if you don't like the way that something is and just, you know, lead by example of how you um, take that on, take it on. And it doesn't mean that it's the best way or take it or the worst way. Yeah. um, Mm -hmm. I mean, everyone lives their own life. There's like not much to say in it. Like it's literally just like it is what it is. Um, Trust me, you, you get what you give. You can invite others to understand your take on it. Yeah. And that's where vulnerability kicks in. And a lot of people fear that because they don't want that judgment that comes along with it. Yeah. Or hate that may be on the other side of it. Um, but vulnerability and being more open to sharing I don't really want to say your views, but I guess it could be like your view or belief on something or 
um, how you do something is a beautiful thing to share. It may not always be, again, there's might not be a correct or right way, but if it's morally, um, you know, no one's getting killed or anything. Yeah. I mean, that's the extreme of it, but everything else is just pretty much like, okay, they do that. Maybe that way doesn't work for me, but I'll do this way, you know, like yeah. I don't, I don't really believe in that. So this is my belief and this is where I'll stand on it. You know, mm-hmm. um, diversity, it's all diversity. It's all, all diversity. It just like your investment portfolios, people yep. diverse, keep them diverse because <laughs> this market right now is, I'm just kidding. I don't know. I'm not an investment person. Don't ask me questions. Yeah. You have anything else to add in the think that was it um i was gonna say something but no i i thought i was gonna say something actually i should say that she, uh she one thing i it. should say though is go follow daisy on tiktok she broke a thousand followers on the road to a million um people love her she gets all love <laughs> comments speaking of oh my hate gosh, comments it's very sweet her her comments are so funny yeah all love and she's adorable and she's cute and she's sweet and they're just like she she, deserves it she's beautiful yeah she's (laughs) a wonderful dog she's 13 she's a lover and a fighter yeah (laughs) but yeah this. we'll leave it off here leave it off on that that. one um we hope you guys enjoyed we both we both said different things we'll leave it off of here we'll leave it off of that (laughs) (laughs) And we hope you guys enjoyed, and we will see you in the next one soon. Bye. Bye.